Everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little different from normal. Yes, I haven't done a video in... I was thinking it had been a lot longer. It's only been four days since I put a video out. <laughs> oh man, time has just gone insane. So I wanted to do uh, something a little bit different today. Um, so the, this video is actually shot from last Friday. It is now Sunday. Uh, I've teamed up with... By, and by team up, I mean I downloaded an app that is called Relive. Um, and what it does is tracks your rides and you can add pictures and stuff in there. And I thought this would be a great tool to show you guys my rides and to like add in the vlog part of it as well. So this is gonna be a little bit different. Probably a lot of voiceover because there's some clips in here that are actually um, a shot when I did it, but this is from Friday. And I don't, if you like it like this, let me know. If you don't, let me know that also. <sighs> but for what's, what I'm planning to be coming up, this could be a major part of what's going on with the vlog in the future. Okay. So I titled this ride, Fat Man Rides 30 Miles, because I'm a fat man, and I'm going to try to get 30 miles. That was the goal. I started in Canton. It's going to end somewhere around Lake Logan. But, of course, I have to stop and show you one of my favorite places with at least the best view. This is by far the one of my one of my favorite views here on this ride. It's only like two and a half miles in, especially when everything is bloomed and the crops are grown up. They don't only have cornfields here. This is just one of the most beautiful spots ever. <sighs> Keep going. Riding up along the backside of the river is probably my favorite place there is to ride. And this was really a hard ride for me for once. Uh, the wind was blowing like crazy, but I kept pushing myself and I knew I would get there. The next stop is where I always have to have my heart-to-heart -heart talk with you, the old covered bridge. I'm gonna be honest, <clears throat> this ride is kicking my butt. I'm at my regular resting spot, the bridge to the other side of the road. Seven miles in, I'm dying. I think it's a combination of two things. Like I've done good uh, eating wise. So like before I left or for breakfast, I had two eggs. For lunch, I had a grilled chicken sandwich. And uh, yesterday I ate good, the day before that I ate good. I think what's killing me is one, the wind is beating the crap out of me. And two is the last two days in a row, I've ridden the trainer. I should have taken yesterday off to let my legs recuperate. And I took cricket on a four mile walk last night, so. I think I'm going to have to do smaller rides on the trainer, especially the day before I go ride. Might not get my 30 today, but I'm going to get as far as I can. I'm not cramping. I am just tired. I can handle this. Quit bitching, Josh. You got this. So yeah, moving right along, we just kept going. I found this old store building. I believe it's the Johnson store. I've ridden by this a million times, but never taken the time to just stop and look at it. You can kind of see the name right there. I think it was the Johnson store. Not positive on that. Coming up is where the climbs really started. Of course, I had to stop here. This was at the 20 mile, sorry, the 10 mile marker where I wanted to sit and rest. And I decided, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. So I did. I don't know why, but the no outlet sign spoke to me for some reason. The next little section was probably the hardest one. This is where you start gaining altitude. I felt like the little engine that could. I kept saying, I can do this, I can do this, and this was my reward. This incredible view of Lake Logan. I did not think 
I was gonna make that hill. I made it. Almost 12 miles in. I gotta get my 30 today. But I wasn't done yet. I knew I had to keep pushing and I knew I could get my 30 mile goal done today. And you know what? I wanna keep going. This section here always amazes me because it doesn't seem in the car like it's got any incline, but it was a heck of a climb. And I think I realize right here, I have an obsession with bridges. I love old bridges, especially when they have no outlet. Coming up was where I had to finally stop, and this was the 15 mile marker. I'm hurting. <laughs> I've made it 15 miles, 15.1. I thought I was gonna make it all the way to the uh, to the, the campground. I think I'm still like maybe half a mile from there. I don't know. I'm planning right now to take the same exact route back. The good news is it's mostly downhill this way. I do have one big climb again, and then I'll be back. This is the hardest I've pushed myself. I'm hurting. The legs are tired. This is a hard ride, but I know when I get done, I'm gonna feel so good. I'm gonna take two day break, keep eating right, maybe ride the trainer tomorrow, but I will take a two day break and rest. Now it's the fun part, back. And I've got like an hour left till daylight. I got two, I got two hours till nighttime, nightfall. I got two hours left till nightfall. Break and then go. I can't even begin to tell you how happy I was to know that I was going to get my 30 mile goal. Just knowing that that's going to be the next step to go even further. Check out the speed right here, 39 miles per hour. I was on the brakes a little, I'll admit that, I was scared, but man, it was a blast flying down those hills and getting on these roads. Just being on the open road like this is so freeing, especially in this time right now we can't even go out in public, hardly. Got to keep going down and have to stop one last time at the covered bridge to have one more heart to heart. 23 miles, seven to go. I'm back at my favorite bridge. I realized today that there's a plaque on, I don't know if I said this last time I was up here. I've been on this bridge a hundred times. I never realized until the last time there's a placard up here. It says this bridge was built in 1891 in, by engineers from New York City, who knew? And on the other side, I, mean, I knew that because I found this last time. But on the other side, it says the commissioners of Haywood County from that time. I'm hurting. I am hurting bad. I got seven miles to go and I'll be done. And then I get to rest all weekend. Oh, I need some pickles real quick. I said that I was hurting. I didn't just mean my legs were tired, I was seriously in pain. So I took a shortcut through the school and headed back down the back side of the river. This is still and always will be one of my most favorite places to ride. When I got back to Center Pigeon, I realized I wasn't going to get my goal. So I passed where I started, did a loop around town, and that was able to complete to get an overall ride of 30.2 miles, a total time of 3 hours 9 minutes. 1,312 feet of elevation gain with an average speed of 9.6. Not bad for a fat man riding 30 miles. Thanks for Liv. So I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, you can always hit that like button. If you didn't, uh, don't worry, they're not always gonna be like this. I'm sure there'll be more voiceover style videos in the future, cause I kinda like doing it like this. I'm going to have to work on uh, talking and coming up with all this stuff, maybe planning a little better out in the future. But I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you didn't, uh, or if you didn't, that works too. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can always check out Patreon. There's different tiers starting at a dollar a month, going up to $10 a month. You get free stuff and it helps support the channel. It helps bring more videos like this one. I mean, it makes, makes him happy too. Don't worry, all the videos are not going to be cycle themed from now on. There will be a lot more of it because I'm getting more into it again. It's the type of weather for it. I've got time to do it right now because I don't have a job. And I need to get fit, let's be honest. I've gained all the weight back that I lost before. I have dropped six pounds since I started cycling again, which makes me very happy. 
uh, tomorrow I will be riding again. But before I do that, I'll be doing some updates on all the stuff around the house that's been going on since the last time we vlogged. All right, have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Let me Hey folks, welcome back to this old vlog. I'm your host, Josh Vila. Today we're back at the Harris house working on that bar once again. Here's a friendly reminder for you. Anytime you go out in public, wear gloves, probably. Make sure you keep a minimum of six feet apart. That's about how far we are right now. Now we're six feet. We're gonna head on in and talk to the homeowners, see if we can get this project done today. Eat your heart out, Bob Barkley. Sometimes that it doesn't make sense.